Hello and welcome to the Django Celery Mastery course. Just a quick reminder, if you like this course and would like to access the source code and more, you can access this course on Udemy. The link to the course, which should provide the best price, is in the video description. When thinking about utilizing designing systems with Celery tasks, it's important to be aware that they can encounter various exceptions and errors during their execution. Now, these exceptions and errors can arise from different sources and scenarios, and understanding them is essential for building a robust and reliable distributed task processing system. In this set of slides, we are going to explore some of the common types of exceptions and errors that can occur in salary tasks. So by just familiarizing ourselves with these scenarios, we can better prepare for them and develop effective error handling strategies to ensure the stability and success of our salary based applications. So the first area where common errors or exceptions may occur is network errors. So these errors can occur when the tasks are communicating with external services or resources over the network. Network errors can really manifest in various forms, such as connection timeouts, DNS resolution failures, or, or general networking connectivity issues. Now, many of these issues tend to be generally out of our hands. However, we still need to think about handling network errors in salary tasks, and this typically involves implementing appropriate error handling mechanisms to retry the task maybe, to log the error for future analysis, or to take any necessary fallback actions. Another common type of exception or error that salary tasks may encounter is related to database connection issues. So this occurs when potentially the task interacts with the database and encounters problems in establishing or managing database connections. Now this really folds down into more specifics. So database connections issues can manifest themselves in various forms, including database server unavailability. Maybe the network is down or the, the server database server is down. We have authentication errors and potentially connection pool exhaustion. So there really is a, a wealth again of different errors that can occur here and isn't necessarily our role to be able to troubleshoot them all. Of course, potentially here we're focused very much on developing an application which can respond to those errors. Very much like I've already said with networking errors, handling network errors, or in this case database connection errors, really is very much the same as handling any error in salary. This is going to involve implementing appropriate error handling mechanisms to retry the task, maybe log the error for future analysis, or to take necessary feedback so fallback actions. So these are really um, the underpinning skills that we were going to focus on in the next couple of tutorials. So let's take a look at some of the other errors that potentially could occur. So in addition to networking and databases, other types of um, exceptions and errors might derive from external service failures. So for example, API endpoints, unavailability, service downtime, request timeouts, and then potentially then the actual custom application specific errors. So input, invalid input data, for example, business logic exceptions, application specific error conditions. Now, this of course is just a snapshot. Understanding and preparing for common types of exceptions and errors in salary tasks is crucial for building resilience and reliable distributed task processing system. So just by becoming aware or potentially becoming aware of some of the potential pitfalls and challenges, we can develop effective handling strategies to try and mitigate some of these uh, errors and their impact. In any walks of software development, proper error handling plays a vital role in ensuring the stability and reliability of any application, where it be a salary based application or not. So in the up and coming sections, we'll delve a little bit deeper into techniques and maybe some best practices for handling exceptions and errors in salary tasks. We will explore some of these strategies such as retrying failed tasks, implementing fallback mechanisms, login and monitoring, and incorporating error reporting and notifications. So these techniques will help empower us to build more robust and fault tolerant distributed systems that can handle a wide range of scenarios.